it's Wednesday. The heat wave continues. So a little bit cloudy at the minute, but I think it's all going to clear away to leave us with the blue sky. So I'm washing my bed sheets today. Yesterday I did Ruby's, day before I did James's. Today is my turn for a clean bed. So let's have a look at the calendar. Dun, 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 dun. In summer, the song sings itself. Oh, that's very true, isn't it? So you've only got to sit in your garden and you can hear all the little birds tweeting away. That's absolutely lovely. So I've just done my makeup. So again, I've got on the Avon Serum Foundation mixed with a little bit of the True Colour because obviously this one will protect your skin against the sun. Um, I've got this on Mascara Ultra Volume, which is waterproof so it doesn't run. Um, and then I've got my magic ingredients on, which I'm starting to get through the bottle now a lot, but a bottle does last you quite a long time. Um, absolutely love this. It's absolutely amazing. If you Google it, it's got hundreds of reviews now. It's just a secret ingredients for looking younger it's wonderful i even got id'd for lottery um when i first started using this and i'm 44 i don't look 18 or however old you have to be to buy lottery but the woman wouldn't serve me my lottery definitely secret ingredients and i've also started using this toner stuff that avon have bought out and i need to show you i talked about it the other day every night when i put it on i'm so impressed by it it's absolutely amazing I need to show it you when I get when I go downstairs. I must remember. So anyway, happy Wednesday, everyone! Oh, and if you're new to my channel, which perhaps somebody is, um, I do do Avon. The link to my little Avon shop is down below, and you can get samples of all these foundations and the perfumes and everything. So if you did want to try them, you can get samples without having to buy a full bottle. You know, so you can find the perfect colour for you and everything. So it's all down below in the comment section. Right, it's. 9.36. I cannot believe I'm only just getting my breakfast. I've been up since like seven-ish, but I'm only just getting my breakfast. I've been faffing around, um, changing my bed and all the other jobs, doing my makeup and stuff. So breakfast this morning, we've got uh, sugar-free jelly, a bit of melon, some grapes, cereal bar, a cup of tea. Oh, and I'm going to have a banana as well. So that's my lovely breakfast. Oh, hello, little dolly. So yesterday, Donny, who likes to squash the bottom off my foot, um, <laughs> my foot's alright because I've been leaning on it. Stop rubbing your bum on my foot. <laughs> um, yesterday, Donny went to the groomers, for spice looks all lovely and clean and spankly, don't you? And I also had a bit of a strange thing happen yesterday as well, which made me really, really cross. Um, <laughs> I posted a parcel and it came to £4.45. And the lady, I tried to pay with a load of change, so I'd got like pan coins, 20p's, 5p's and stuff, and the lady would not accept my change unless it was all in individual money bags for each separate like 2p's, a bag for the 5p's, and she wouldn't let me pay, so I had to use my card. So we now live in a world where even at the post office you cannot pay to post your parcel with cash unless it's like pan coins anybody else experienced this it made me so so cross that i couldn't pay for my parcel with my change it's absolutely ridiculous what a crazy crazy world we live in so yesterday that was my real gripe of the day it really annoyed me i was like i'm not trying to pay the money in i just want to pay for my parcel no you cannot pay for it with all that change unless it's all individually separated it was very silly, wasn't it? Yes. Anyway, so I just need to finish my cup of tea. Then we need to tackle some jobs. Right, I've been on the phone to my little mum and I've been multitasking. So my bathroom desperate needs cleaning. Um, so I've been on the phone to my mum and I've half done my bathroom. I've nearly finished it. Woohoo! And can you believe it's 20 past 11? Um, so I've had a quote for my blinds and I'm going to get them done. So I'm going to have a different blind done in here. I'm having a roof blind in my conservatory, which will be really interesting. If you have got a conservatory and it gets too hot, obviously we'll let you know what it's like because it might be something that you might consider having done. Um, very interesting. So it's just a pleated blind that goes right across the roof and it's insulated, so it should stop the heat but it should also stop the cold in winter and they're solar powered motors to run the blind back and forwards across the conservatory. So excited. But there's a six week waiting list so i've ordered it but i've got to wait like six weeks for it to be fitted so it'll probably be winter by the time we get it done but we are getting it done so that's very exciting 
Right, so we need to get on and finish the bathroom. Right, bathroom done. So it's now just got half past 11, so I'm debating do I do my shower room and my upstairs toilet as well, then they're all done. I think, even though I really don't want to, I think it's the best thing just to get it over and done with. Right, this is what I keep talking about. So this is Avon and You Reviving Tonic. I don't really know what it does, but it's just absolutely amazing. So I take my makeup off at night, then I put this on and it instantly makes your skin look younger. I don't know why. It kind of just dries instantly, but it's like really refreshing and just, it's bloody wonderful. I love it so much. As soon as it's in the book, I'm gonna buy like three bottles of it. I just love it. It's so amazing. So I use this and then obviously then when I get in bed, I put on my serum. Um, it's just absolutely brilliant. I cannot recommend it enough. I'm not sure the price. I'll have to check it out when it's out, but oh, I love it so much. Oh, I'm a woman on a mission. So along with all the other boring dogs, the bathrooms, I've realized I've not even washed up. So I've um, got to get these pots into soak. I've got my bed sheets to hang on the washing line. And then we're gonna tackle the shower room. So the washing is out. I don't know what the temperature is right now, but whatever the temperature is, is the perfect temperature it's not too hot it's not too cold there's a little bit of a breeze and it's absolutely bloody glorious out here oh it's just so nice i really don't want to go inside and clean a shower room look at the bees little busy yeah. bees you can see them on the lavender they're so dull they don't try and eat one lovely <laughs> what are you doing Dolly <laughs> you're always busy aren't you you just like the little bees busy Bebo where are you going hello <laughs> are you enjoying the weather it's lovely isn't it oh how can you go from being outside in that beautiful the weather to being in here how horrible right okay so this is going to be the fastest shower clean you've ever seen <laughs> so i've got my cloth ready i'm just giving it a quick sif a quick wipe out with some sif it'll be fine uh, right let's get it done right shower room done upstairs little toilet done bathroom done washing hung out done um got to make the bed not done oh <laughs> but i think the quicker you do it the, the better it is because obviously it gets hotter as the day goes, goes on. I've still got the curtains drawn to stop the sun, but I think the sun's probably gone around the back now, so I'll be okay to open the curtains. So without further ado, let's get clean sheets and duvets and stuff on it. <sighs> the bed is made. So I've obviously got to put my top, like quilted throw thing over the top because obviously I've washed that this morning. But a little tip, I don't know if it's a good tip or not, but when I was looking around the show houses, I couldn't work out how they managed to roll their duvets back and make them look so nice so actually what they do and they do this in Dunham Mill as well they put the duvet on back to front so normally when you buy a pattern duvet the pattern would be on the top but what they do they flip it over so you actually sleep with the pattern against your skin but then when you turn it over you can see this like top rim which then looks really good whereas when you've got a patterned duvet and you put a throw over it and stuff and you don't actually see the pattern whereas now because it's the other way around you do and it's really nice um i'm so glad that i went around the show houses i got lots of tricks on how to make your bed and it was very useful and i love my bed now and it was only a case of a trip to dunham mill a few a duvet cover and a few cushions it's just made such a difference i love it so much ah books again so i've just finished this I'd like to have said it was amazing, but it was actually um, not, well, a tiny bit boring. I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. I probably wouldn't waste your time reading it. It was okay. It was probably like a holiday book where you could follow it. And it, it was quite simple, really, but sweet, but not really exciting. And now I've moved on to this one. So we read The Doll Factory by Elizabeth McNeil, and it was amazing. One of my friends has also read it, and she's like, Jane, I couldn't put it down. It was so good. So I've now started this one, The Circus of Wonders. Quite good so far. I'll keep you posted on what it's like. Oh, there's only me that can have the door open and end up with half the wildlife in the kitchen. So I've got a great big fly buzzing around. And I've also got 
I wonder if it's a moth or a butterfly. I think it's a moth. I don't really want that in my kitchen. Oh, what a nightmare. So anyway, I'm trying to eat my dinner while surrounded by wildlife. So for dinner today, I've got the same as what I always blooming have. I need to get back into the habit of having different things. So I've got seafood sticks, little tomatoes, mackerel in brine, three little corn things, and a cup of coffee in my I'd rather be eating cake. Right, lipstick of the day. So lipstick of the day today is an Avon one. So it's a new Avon lip gloss and the colour is Gleaming Glava, I think it's pronounced. They're so, so lovely. They just give your lips like a real, I don't know, they just give it like a nice shine, but they're so moisturising. I can't tell you how soft my lips have been. They haven't been this soft and nice for absolutely ages. They just feel like buttery soft. It's just so, mmm, it's lovely. You definitely need one of these, they're so nice. Anyway, so it's now harvest one. I'm going for a walk. I'm going to nip to the charity shop, go for a little stroll around, get some fruit and then come home. I think we deserve it. Let's go. Right, we're ready. So, outfit of the day. Look at these. I got them from the charity shop the other week. Um, they look like a skirt, but they're not a skirt, they're shorts. They're so, so comfy. Sadly, they haven't got pockets, but they are adorable. Really, really high-waisted. Bit satiny. They're from originally H&M. I love them so much. They're so nice. I've got my little nude bag again, which just seems to match these neutral outfits. It goes so well. So, anyway. Got to take a bag of rubbish to the bin and then we'll go to the charity shop. We've arrived. So it's 26 and a half degrees. It's quite hot out there. Look at the sky. Right, let's go for a little stroll and get some fruit and go to the charity shop.
back in the car. How embarrassing. That crane or that van with like a lorry lift, lift thing on it with a man in it really high up is right next to my car. So I had to walk right past it. It was really embarrassing. Right, anyway, let's go home. Oh, right, I'm home. So we'll go and drop my neighbour's paper off. I'm just going to post it through. And then I've just remembered I've got to make some homemade burgers for tea. I've been bitten on my arm. I was bitten on it yesterday. It was very itchy. Now it's just red and horrible, but I keep putting cream on it. So let's go and get this scent. Right, I've made it home. So, I'm going to sit out here for approximately 10 minutes because then I'll be too hot. Um, and so will my friend. And then I need to go in and make burgers. So, I'm sat here. I'm just looking through the latest thing I bought. Mm, my favourite lipsticks are on offer. Love them so much. My magic lipsticks. My favourite. You've made it stop. <laughs> the sun's gone in, so it's stopped. That's confused you. <laughs> there you go, the sun came back out and it carried on working. <laughs> Has it stopped again? Has it stopped again? Me? Has it stopped? <laughs> if you keep drinking it, there'll be no water left. Found it. So this is what I was talking about earlier on. It's on offer for £8. Absolutely amazing. I'm so addicted to it. And I didn't realise that they do a face cream to match it. So you know what I'm going to be ordering. And they're on offer both for £18, which is cheaper than £13. That's a really good saving. It's so hot. <laughs> I think I've done my 10 minutes. I think I'm cooked. Ooh, I nearly forgot to show you these. So, I was making these yesterday. I will try and do a separate tutorial on them if anybody wants to know how to make them. Obviously, they're just on sticks that I went and fetched from the woods. You could buy proper, like, canes or something to put them on. Um, but I've made one, two, three, four, five, six. I've made seven altogether. So, these are the really colourful ones. What do you think? Um, I'm going to put like a bit of hessian around them as well, I think. Like, this is just a rough um, experiment with the hessian, but I'm going to wrap a bit around the, the stick bit, a bit, I think, as well. But look, I love them so much. They're so, so easy to make. You need a bit of old fabric, a bit of hessian, and as long as you've got the little rag rug tool, um, you can make them. You just pull it through. So therapeutic. And if you fetch sticks, obviously they, they're free as well. So it's sort of good for the environment, reusing a bit of wood and stuff. So they're the colourful ones. And then I did make a neutrally coloured one, which, again, I'll probably keep this one because my mum prefers colour to neutral. But aren't they fun? And I must show you this as well. My mum has repaired or fixed my hubby's trousers. So he'd ripped the pocket on his jeans. My mum is so good at sewing. Look at that. She's fixed two. He'd, he'd ripped two because he puts his wallet and stuff in his back pocket. Look at that. My mum is so clever. I can't believe she managed to fix that. Bless her. Anyway, so it's now hubby's three. Let's get the burgers made. Burgers done. So we hubby's fetch Ruby off the bus. So we didn't have to go out again. Yay! And all I bought today was my fruit. 
a magazine and a book for Ruby from the charity shop. One of the Jacqueline Wilson ones. I don't think she's got that one. Um, and that was it. I didn't really buy anything else from the charity shop today. When your friends know that it's nearly tea time, you're not daft, are you? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my tea. So it's my little fake burgers that I've made. Lots of salads, well, no fat mayonnaise, and one little brown cob that's in half. My hubby's got two gobs. Off to enjoy it. Oh, my tea was delicious. So here's my little pensioners. I feel like we've not seen them all day. So France was something on my knee, but she's just decided to get down. Are you okay there, Winifred? Are you all right, my darling, in your middle age? <laughs> Are you waiting for your tea? Are you waiting for your tea? Hey. It won't oh, right. I really need to get up. I've got to do pack up. I've got to feed the dogs. I've got to wash up. Oh, come on, Janie, get up. Right. Let the water and fun begin. She's already... Don't you already wet? I switched it on and she dived straight on it and got soaking wet. So you're wet before we've even started. You're a pain in the neck. Right. Here goes nothing. Okay. I'll switch it on. Oh, she's like a crazy woman. <laughs> you love the water, don't you? You want a baby? <laughs> no. No. Not your water, it's the plant. No. You're absolutely bonkers. Aren't you? I'm going to love you and leave you. So many, many thanks for joining me again today. I, I, um, I can't even speak. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. Find my dogs on Instagram as Three Fluffles. Um, my little website is down below if you'd like a little mug of the day or a bag of the day. And my little home shop is also down below so you can get all the testers. You can try the perfumes. Um, I've had Far Away on today. I absolutely love Far Away perfume. It's lovely. So it's all down below. If you've not tried Avon for a long time, go and try it. This makeup's been on since 7 o'clock this morning. And obviously it's been boiling hot. So to say how hot it has been, I don't think it's done too bad really. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow everybody. Bye.